Uh, good morning. So it's um, just a little bit past our advertised start time and uh, I would, um, my name's David Watson, I'm the convener for this, um, what's the first joint meeting of the uh, academies of health and medical sciences and, and social sciences uh, in, uh, in Australia and uh, I'd like to welcome everyone to this meeting. Uh, this uh, promises to be a hopefully a diverse and an interesting program and uh, give you uh, things certainly to think about and perhaps uh, see a different perspective to what we normally see as we'll be um, uh, sharing uh, across the day. Um, on behalf of all of us I would like to acknowledge that this land that we meet on today is the traditional land of the Ghana people um, and we do pay respect to their spiritual relationship with this country. I'd also like to pay respect to Elders past, present and future of the Ghana people and also extend that welcome and respect to other Aboriginal people here today. Um, I would also like to welcome fellows of the uh, Academy of Health and Medical Sciences, uh, the um, Australian Academy for the Social Sciences, also the Academy for the Social Sciences in Australia, uh, guest speakers uh, who've, um, who've willingly given up their time to come and um, uh, uh, speak to us today and hopefully make this meeting a success uh, and especially Richard Horton who made the trip from uh, from England uh, having been in China last week went home to London for the for the weekend to keep his wife happy and now he's come to Australia so it's a pretty good effort um, I'm not sure which time zone you're on Richard but welcome again um, I'd also like to um, thank uh, supporters of this meeting um, meetings like this um, don't don't just happen and we're grateful for uh, support from Belbury and CSL as um, platinum sponsors and Bupa as a silver sponsor and we're also grateful for SAMRI for providing this magnificent venue that we can meet in today and um, that, that's certainly much appreciated. Um, I'd like to introduce um, Professor Ian Fraser. Uh, Ian's the President of the Australian Academy of Health and Medical Sciences and I'll let him also briefly introduce you. Well, good morning and welcome all of you from both academies. Uh, I think that those of you who were at the dinner last night would agree that we've already managed to collaborate successfully between ASA and uh, AHMS. We had a great evening uh, and roundly entertained by at least one speaker, Max, who I think will stick in our memory for quite a period of time. Thank you, Max. Uh, it, was a great, it was a great evening bringing together two learned academies to discuss a matter of common interest seems only natural once you've actually organized it but the organization took quite a lot of work and therefore i'm very grateful to professor david watson uh, as our local host here and the uh, and asa and particularly professor glenn withers for the work that went in to making it possible to have a joint meeting because obviously each of the academies has their own way of working and to actually give a little bit on each side to make sure that we can have a joint meeting it was not as simple as it at first sight sounded when we discussed it in another forum at another time I think that it's a measure of the maturity of academies that we can actually work together like this we are a small country sharing a number of problems which obviously impact on both academies and getting the learned wisdom of all of the fellows together should result in some output. It's not an accident that uh, the Academy of Social Sciences has asked for abstracts from the talks today to put something together. We need to prove to ourselves and to our colleagues that this is a good way of doing things in the future. And I'm looking forward very much to the discussions that will be had today and I hope that you will participate actively, particularly in the, session, the joints at the session at the end where basically we're going to have a panel discussion and make some uh, useful contributions from the floor as well. And with that thought, I'll hand over to my uh, colleague in arms, so to speak, Professor Glenn Withers, who will come up and address us shortly as well. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks very much, uh, David and Ian. 
Um, those of you who were with us for dinner last night, I won't try and emulate Max Corden's uh, address for uh, this morning because it's impossible to, uh, to match. Uh, but it was an excellent evening and uh, we very much enjoyed the two academies uh, working together and dining together and uh, uh, sharing uh, access to that sort of wisdom that we, we uh, were given last night. Um, it's great to be collaborating together uh, in, in an occasion uh, such as this and uh, I saw a signal of why this is bound to be uh, a useful collaboration last night. For instance, uh, several fellows of the uh, Academy of Social Sciences were new fellows uh, being presented with their certifications by uh, the Medical and Health Academy last night. So people such as Fran Boehm and uh, Patrick McGorry were receiving their awards and uh, indeed therefore members of both academies and uh, we have of course uh, long-standing uh, fellowships which share memberships across the academy so in, in our sort of area of the social science and I'm aware of people like uh, Fiona Stanley for instance who's here with us uh, at the meetings um, being members of both academies uh, and, and what, what has puzzled us, of course, is we learned yesterday that Barry Jones is a member of all the four learned <laughs> academies and we're wondering what the position of the uh, of arms will be on uh, Barry Jones for acquiring the fifth or not. There's a, a big issue to, uh, to take forward. But uh, could I, could I uh, join Ian in, in thanking uh, the organising group so much for everything they've put into this, uh, so especially under David Watson, uh, having to divert himself from core duties to uh, to facilitate engagement and impact and outreach and uh, innovation in education, which is uh, lovely to see, uh, and also our, our representatives on the expert working group that, that help with this, uh, uh, people like Fran and Stephen Duckett, who's here. Uh, and uh, our secretariat too, uh, ably led by uh, uh, John Beaton, who um, was approached a little earlier uh, to uh, uh, and, and thanked for his contributions to the Sydney Morning Herald as the man who looked like uh, Ross Gittens. So, <laughs> so I'm not sure if, if Ross is here, but they, they should. Uh, <laughs> so, so uh, uh, we'll, we, we thank you very much for, for joining us and uh, we look forward to the collaboration today and the, and the insights we're going to get from that collaboration. So on with the show. Thank you.